Still to come this lunchtime, why we are being encouraged to learn CPR. If someone collapses at home in front of you, would you know what to do? Most of us Brits simply don't. Now, it's been revealed today that less than half of us would carry out CPR if somebody was suffering a cardiac arrest. A charity is now warning that victims are being left with little chance of survival. Well, Sharon Thomas is at a St John Ambulance first aid class in central London. How bad are we at, in effect, walking by on the other side? Well, it's the sort of situation that many of us dread, isn't it? Somebody goes into cardiac arrest in front of you and you can make all the difference as to whether they live or die. And the longer you leave it, the more likely they are to die. So we're here at a class in Marylebone today in central London at the St John Ambulance where they are learning how to do CPR. We'll speak to those people in just a moment. But first of all, some staggering stats for you done on behalf of the British Heart Foundation by Warwick University. Did you know that there are more than 30,000 cardiac arrests in the UK outside of hospital? Hospital every year with a survival rate of less than one in ten fewer than half of us who witness a cardiac arrest would perform CPR and this compares with rates of almost three quarters in Norway where survival rates are three times as high now a cardiac arrest happens when blood stops pumping around the body obviously well we're joined now by Clive you're from the St John ambulance the lead trainer here what are the signs to look out for well first of all sudden collapse and when they do collapse they will stop breathing that's a sign they're in cardiac arrest and that's when you really need to start acting and acting fast and what sort of techniques are you teaching people here today we're teaching them how to do chest compressions to pump the blood around the body and rescue breaths to put air into them and pump then carry on pumping that round. Okay thank you very much you're doing a great job well James you're one of the trainees here today how important is it that you're doing this training? Well hopefully one day if it comes into action I can save someone's life while waiting for an ambulance to turn up. Okay. Well, that'd be lovely, yeah. Okay. That's all good. Carry on, you're doing a fantastic job. Well, most people, in fact, more than half of us admit that we wouldn't actually know what to do and we'd be too worried to do something if someone does go into cardiac arrest in front of us. Well, there are three points to remember today from CPR, which are call, push, rescue, call 999, 30 pushes down, compression on the chest, and rescue, two rescue breaths. But always remember, doing something is better than doing nothing at all. Indeed, Sharon, thank you. And uh, if you are still unsure about the correct way to give CPR, there is a useful guide on our website, itv.com news.